Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Sides. So for some reason, we've got on this kick with blonde beers. Oh, because they're so much fun. They are fun. Um, but as we're going through you know, our own cellars and trying to find something to, yeah. to drink, and uh, it's just fun to try something. And it just adds an extra complexity to the video. Yeah, it does. It makes you dig a little harder, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just not the, the standard here okay. in the interview. So, so I, don't know, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what it is. You do. I do. Yeah. So it's darkness. It is dark. I can't see much around the edges at all. It's got that tan head that's dissipated. Pretty dark. But it holds, you know, it holds the glass pretty well there, guys. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, man. That's fudgy. That, that okay. is, that is mm. like pastry stout fudgy. I mean, I bet I'm gonna really like this one. Like sweet chocolate to me. Yeah, so, I mean, to me, it's like, it's like that uh, getting to that oil, that, that soy umami, that real rich, oily. I know I'm using terms that aren't aroma terms, but it's just it's where my mind goes when I smell something like this. You get anything else? Hmm. I feel like I get something that's in there, but I mean, it smells. It's, it's, I get some booziness. I bet that's it's a like a bourbon barrel age, or maybe some other. I don't know if it's some sort of uh, you know some sort of barrel that's in there. It's an IPA. I mean, it smells just delicious. All right, let's do it. Cheers. 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 Yeah, so that's really good. It's thick. It's at a great temperature right now. Yeah. It's sweet. It's chocolatey. I get a nutty flavor. Okay. So I get this. I, I get that too. I get like a walnut or a... Um, it's not like a it's not like a hazelnut. I mean, I guess it could be, but it's more like a walnut. Um, you had me at nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you <know> you're so. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I can't. I see what you're saying, but I, I don't see. You must be like a nut connoisseur because there's no way I could tell what kind of nuts were in. Well, it. hazelnut. Typically, hazel. The only reason I can differentiate is because hazelnut creamer. You know, I, oh, that's okay. more a, at least a common coffee gotcha. creamer. So that has at least, and I'm not saying it's not, it just doesn't, my mind's not going that way. I mean, it's boozy, but in a good way. I mean, I feel it, uh, got a little bit of heat there. It it's rich, it's chocolatey, it's sweet. I think it's chewy too, it's much oh, thicker than the previous two we had. The, oh, the mouthfeel on this is great. Yeah. I mean, this is um, really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, so Yeah, nice bourbon character there. I mean, it's okay. definitely got that, I'm, I'm guessing it's a bourbon barrel. It's just, it's got that heat to it. It's got that 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 oaky flavor, that burnt oak um, it does have char. a complex flavor to it's it. It's got some like creamy vanilla thing. And I, I don't think it's a vanilla stout, but it's like a, like maybe from the barrel, like subtle, subtle vanilla, like from a bourbon barrel. Um, um, okay, so anything else you get from it? There's another adjunct we haven't mentioned yet that's actually, um, I mean, I, I, it's hard for me to say I get it for sure because I'm not the one getting it blind, but yeah. I feel like it's there. It's okay. just maybe a little more subtle than... Um, um, so, I don't get coffee. I mean, okay. I know that's... Uh, I don't get a full vanilla. If there, if it's coconut, it's coming off in a sweetness, you know? Like, it doesn't taste like coconut, but it, sometimes there's like the sweetness of the... You know, it can come that kind of icing. Um, What's been the, the theme tonight? Maple. Yeah, I didn't know the, what you're bringing up for, but yeah, it's okay, there's maple. Yeah, um, well, nice sweetness, but yeah. I, yeah. I, I kind of I think get, no one is there, I just, I don't, I can't pick that out. I was gonna and say. And I never pick maple out really well, unless it's just, right. Very, there are certain maple beers that when you drink them the next day, when you wake up, you smell maple in your pores, you know? <laughs> I don't think this is that, that way at all. I feel like it's a, at least on the, the nose, it's. It's mm. a fairly, to, to me, distinct nose and on the flavor. Gotcha. I feel like I can get it, but yeah. I'm not the one doing mm. it wrong, so I admit it's, it's probably yeah. harder. Yeah. Uh, but no one is there, I feel like I get it. Mm. Okay, so what's your rating? 475. Okay. I love it. I, I think it's really good, too. It's um, hitting on everything I like. The mouth feels great. The sweetness is great. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a really good beer. Go for some time. Uh, I didn't look up what you gave it before because um, you have had this one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give it a four or five, maybe a four or five plus. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get it to a four seven five, but four sure. or five plus. Yeah. All right. Any ideas? Is it one of those evil twin maple ones? It is. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the some people are immune to a good to good advice maple bourbon barrel aged stout. Yeah. All right. 
So it's Imperial Stout, Bourbon Barrel Aged Maple Syrup Barrels. Yeah, they love those freaking long names. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. No, that's delicious. And uh, Evil Twin Brew down in uh, down in uh, Charleston, right? Um, let's see West Brook, it but it's not a collab. It? Yeah, it was over here. Flip it. I just saw it. Keep flipping right here. Oh yeah, okay. but it's not a collab, right? No, it's no. not. Produced and yeah. bottled for Evil Twin yeah. by Westbrook, yeah. so. Yeah, but really solid. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll have to look up what I gave it last time. I don't know if I'm with me today, but. Uh, we hadn't reviewed it. I, we I hadn't reviewed this? No, I thought we had reviewed it, but we did not. Yeah, no, this is this is hitting on all the notes for me. I'm digging it. Um, no, I like it a lot too. I think it's really good. Mm. Yeah, I just want to sit back and sip on this one. I really yeah, like this. We're gonna have to. This is gonna be a, <laughs> this is gonna a, be a beer, the, beer of the night for me. I had no idea. I mean, I knew the rye hipster one, but I couldn't remember what was in it. Yeah, <laughs> it's maple night. But the, but the first one, I had no idea that it was also, you know, maple coffee and classic anyway, maple night. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. We, we love our maple stouts yeah. and sweet stouts. But, Themed nights. Yeah. But after this video, we're gonna have a little hiatus, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be on vacation for a little so, bit. Yeah. Oh well. We could do it by Skype or something. You Actually, know. you probably won't even release this until or have it processed until you come back. Um, I don't know. It depends on how busy it is tomorrow at work. <laughs> if it's not busy, then I'll. But I can it release it like that. Anyway, yeah. there may or may not be a gap. It's either going to be before this video or after this video. <laughs> there is going to be a gap. It may be before this video. There has already been one. Mayor's, yeah, it's already been. We've had a gap already. Oh yeah. No, I'm, okay. I'm saying by the We're time guessing. this releases, We're saying we'll have gap. a gap. I'm slow. I'm yeah, sorry, you can sleep well. Sleep. Gap has already happened. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that would have been that video. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. Anyway, anything else? No. Thanks for this one. Yeah. As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.